Hello, glorious beings. It's Sarah Oblak Spiker here. I was reminded of an experience that took place about 15 years ago. That was one of my first conscious lessons about alignment and tested commitments. <laughs> and I wanted to share it with you because the experience itself and the memory of it and the lesson learned has remained my northern star that allows me to remind myself, even to this day, that when I set my mind to something and the obstacles and challenges come up, even if on a rational way, on a rational level, intellectual level, I have no idea how things are gonna work out, it reminds me to trust the process and simply stay what in alignment, take one step at a time, because whatever it's meant to be, it's gonna happen. So here's the story. 15 years ago, about, actually over 15 years ago now, I was a 19-year-old kid growing up in a medieval town of about 20,000 in Slovenia. Imagine red clay rooftops, um, a castle on top of a hill, foothills of the Alps, really one of those picturesque cities. And at the time, I just ended my basketball career that has been, I mean, it's been amazing. It took me around Europe. Um, and I figured, you know, at the time I started also college and I wanted to fully focus on my studies. And then one evening, an email came through and it read something like, Hey, Sarah, we are a staff of coaches here in New York City. We are interested in you. Would you be open to discussing a possibility of coming into play for us? <laughs> my initial reaction was, uh, no, <laughs> I could barely speak any English. I had not been to New York City before. In fact, I've only been to the States for one tournament and I could not wait to go back home. And there I was. I had never applied to any of the colleges, had no aspirations to go anywhere outside of my hometown. In fact, I just ended my career. So I was sitting there and my mom came into the room in that moment. It was like, you look puzzled. What's going on? And I mentioned it to her. And she goes, wow, this is a great opportunity. You're going to give it a try, right? I have no idea where she found that faith in me, but there was something that she saw that I couldn't see at the moment. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I will give it a try. It was a yes. Um, I ended up being accepted, officially invited. And um, then a misunderstanding happened. Like I said, I was freshman in college overseas, but my understanding was that I could no longer have to worry about any of the grades. So I did not bother going to the classes. I was having a time of my life, already envisioning the life in New York City, and life was amazing. And then I got another email from my coaches and it said, hey, we're just waiting for your transcripts. Can you have them to us by a particular date? My heart stopped. I was like, what do you mean, transcripts? <laughs> I had, I think, two weeks maybe to study all of the classes, pass all of the exams, get the transcripts, and send them to the university. I was convinced that this opportunity was no longer available because I could not possibly see this happening. I was sitting at my desk, looking at all the notes, looking at all the books, paralyzed, overwhelmed. I was like, there's no possible way I can pull it off. I still was like, you know, at least I can give it a try. If I don't give it a try, I will never know and I will regret it. Somehow, I made it happen. I sent over the transcripts. I got officially accepted. A few weeks later, I packed my three suitcases and off we went and the rest is history. I'm still here in New York, now happily married, a mom to two little ones, running a business in a foreign country in a non-native language, um, continuing my own growth and evolution. But this story, this experience in itself has been so powerful and a reminder that when we commit to something that is in alignment, yes, obstacles are going to come up and they're going to challenge our own commitment. But if we only focus on taking one step at a time while still holding that big vision, everything will rearrange itself for us to be able to fulfill and realize that vision. And it hasn't always been, you know, that simple because when you're in a moment, when you're fighting, when you're scrambling, when you're trying to make things happen, 
oftentimes the doubt comes in and uh, overwhelm and all the fears are coming up. But like I said, you know, this has been one of the baddest moments, choosing to live behind my family, choosing to live behind my culture, choosing to live behind my friends and going into the unknown, completely unknown, um, because it was alignment. And it's a great reminder that sometimes, you know, taking those leaps of faith, as scary as it is, when they come from the nudge of the heart, when you answer the soul's calling, it changes the trajectory of your life immensely. And I cannot envision now, looking back, any other scenario. I cannot possibly envision any other scenario. But yet again, looking back, the dots always connect, right? So looking forward, it's simply applying this faith and trust and knowing that whatever step we take, it's the exact step that we are meant to take. So I wanted to share this with you today. Um, and I hope you got from it exactly what you've been looking for today. Maybe some answers, maybe inspiration, maybe motivation, maybe a kick in the ass, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, and uh, I would love to hear from you. You know, what have been some of your own experiences like this when you did something so extraordinary that no one had done around you because obviously in this experience people have moved around but I personally did not know anybody who had done that um and it felt so big at a time and it felt so <sighs> overwhelming at the time and yet some of the best 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 decisions that I had made and I would do it again in a heartbeat so I'd love to hear from you Sending you much love. I would love to say sunshine, but there's not much of it here in New York today. Um, catch you soon. Take care.